This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, I've got my daughter on the boat. First time in a while, especially thanks to COVID. And uh, yes, snotty, nasty morning out there. You can see the spray on her sweatshirt. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be uh, dropping metal um, and, and looking for weak fish, also known as sea trout, and uh, see what we can do. Okay, she can let down. All right, we'll be using uh, two to three ounce diamond jigs, and uh, you know you got to match the jigs to the conditions. Uh, her rod's got a, a three ouncer on there. It, it, it's snotty. I'm gonna put a three ounce on mine, but <laughs> before I even get down, she's gonna be in. Oh, you got a fish already, huh? Yep. Did he hit you on the way? So look, get this hand up above the reel. I never do that. But okay. I've never done that. Okay. So did you even get to the bottom? No. Or I had like just gone. Okay. A lot of times they'll uh, they'll catch it down on the, on the drop. And you let me know if that if that rod's uh, comfortable for you. And, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of motoring over the schools. And, wow, that's a nice one. Look at that. That is a nice weed fish. That's that's above average size. Wow. All right, her first time out in like two years. Didn't take her long. Oh, there's hardly anybody out here with these conditions, so I'm going to spot lock over the school. That means we won't have to fight with the wind and everything. And uh, oh yeah, this is going to work. But yeah, I mean, you know, looking at the fish finder, I, I don't see how we can't catch. And since the currents are running out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna. Oh, it took your, your go. <gasps> wow, yeah. He has a big bite out of him. You know, so maybe that's what I hooked. Well, that's. No, no, <laughs> that's, that's bluefish, yeah. That's why I was saying, you know, these, it's good to see some bigger ones because, you know, they'll, they can survive the, 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 the bluefish. Do you have well, my I, here? Yeah. He probably, got, he probably got bit by something while I was yeah. pulling him up. And then... Well, here, bring, bring the leader. Oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. All right, I, I guess that was a big bluefish did that. Boy, as soon as I went down. Oh, you got two. Uh, <laughs> wow. But the, and the bottom one's really a nice size too. Look at that. Yeah, I, I've got it anchored on the... Yes, please. Right now, these schools move even when you're on a pile. Uh, you know, they, they can move away. So uh, we were on them for a bit. They uh, thinned out. So uh, kick the, the bigger motor in. Search around a little bit. Now just getting back on the spot lock again. Oh yeah, okay. I don't see how this doesn't work. Okay, so look at the machine now. Okay, after you get this fish in, you take a look at the machine. Holy crap, we're on the densest pile I've seen. And by the way, that's Dr. Skinner up there. She's a Princeton grad and an assistant professor of robotics at the University of Michigan. I mean, she might look like she's 12 years old, but uh, she is not. That's them. See, and that's that's how it works. Yeah. You, you motor around. They've got those big swim bladders. They echo beautifully on the fish finder. And you 
make it over the school and you drop metal on your head. There you go. <laughs> Arms are tired from catching weak fish, huh? Oh, that's a good one. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you get on a pile. And that's why if you're not getting them, you gotta look, you know, you gotta motor around. Wow, they're thick. In fact, I'm just gonna, oh, that's not. All right. Uh, drop this down. Take this one. All right, bring your rod. Bring your rod close. Oh, never mind. I, you got to bring your rod closer to the boat. Okay, now drop that down. <laughs> it didn't when I, you know, when it was in my hands. It didn't have one. Well, you might have another blue. what it is when you see it oh, I'm busy here oh yeah two, two weeks yeah. week in the blue well you're feeding the gulls huh Oh yeah, that's gonna work out great. Yeah. All right, so I gotta retie that that rig. All right, so bring that here. Wow, this is nice weak fish. Wow, that is really nice, huh? Oh boy. Oh, the spot lock is just awesome for this. You know, if you're trying to do this with a conventional anchor, forget it because you know, the key with the, with the spot lock, not only the convenience, is that you get over the school and boom, hit the button, you're right there. If you had to go drop an anchor line, first of all, that anchor line would also be in the way of any other drifting boats if, if even one or two were around. Uh, but yeah, to be able to get right over the school, push the button, be locked on top of them, and then be able to move easily, uh, this just worked out great. Oh, a nice weak fish. Wow. Well, we're on some quality here. Wouldn't mind getting you with a picture of that one. Oh, that's the best one, I think. That is the biggest one so far. Slack, slack, slack. Or if we get a picture of you with that. Well, a real good one, uh, and she's going to beat that one. Boy, hard, it's hard to keep rigs in the water, you know, because we've had a couple of them got beat up.
Oh, nice. Wow, these are really good ones. Look at that. Okay, I'm coming right back over the fish now. Wow. Okay, good. All right, all right, I'm gonna get your thing going and that's all I needed to do and the screen went from nothing to loaded in that little short period of time. Okay. Wow, he caught a nice fluke over there. No, he hasn't been. No, I don't think so. There you go. Yeah, we're on a pile right now. We're anchored on him. Yeah, you can't feel the bottom. Just, just grab it. Okay, the regs on these, uh, you can keep one fish at 16 inches. Uh, we don't have any that are below 16 inches, and we're not going to keep anything. Uh, I really prefer to eat flukes, so we let all of these go. So on the next drop, I'm going to show you something somebody told me yesterday, and I've just tried it twice, and it, and it worked like incredibly well. And this guy is somebody, he's, he's actually the guy who uh, works for the company that makes these rods, and uh, he knows a lot. He's really experienced, and uh, what he told me to do, I just tried, and it was like unbelievable. Give it a couple bounces and then reel very, very slow. The way he put it goes so slow it hurts. S try that. And see, because I just tried it twice and yeah, I mean, obviously they're down there thick, but uh, boy, they, <laughs> you can feel them, you know. I mean, I'm before I eat. Right, okay, yeah. Actually, the way the machine looks right now, yeah. Like, as soon as I drop down and pick up yeah. to touch that I'm on the bottom, I have a hit. Yeah. Tide runner. That's that's a huge one. Yeah, bring them over. Nice. Wow. Now, okay, we're getting a picture okay. of this. This is really. That's a serious weak fish. Yeah, that's that's like the old days. That is exactly the kind of stuff you know we would catch. 
Ah, uh, yes, an old-time tide runner. And you know what? Weak fish grow very fast. All these other ones we're catching, in a couple of years, one or two years, uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more fish that size, assuming they can survive winters. Oh, my goodness, the mother moved right here. Okay, hold on. Oh, 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 man, take a look. Just just take a peek over what it was and what it is now. Mm -hmm. wow. So, right? See that? I mean, that's what you got to do. If you're not on them, you got to get on them. I wasn't even thinking. Let's put down. God, what a stack. Oh, it, it, what, what gets me is how high the school goes. It's like, this. this it, I swear the school looks like it's 40 feet high. Yeah, you're not, not even getting the Oh, no, it, I swear to God, at one point there was, the, the school is reading at about 30 feet high. Look at that. So I did that slow, that little slow retreat. Okay, something cut you off, huh? Yeah. All right, let me get this guy in and... Yeah, we're going through some rigs for sure. No, no. You weren't up there, right? Look at this. solid weak fish and those are four inch gulp grubs that I'm putting on the hook okay catch them up um. Can't get down, can you? Wow, that's a school. Man. And did you see how we weren't on them? And I moved the boat just like, you know, I don't know, 50 feet, 75 feet, and then all of a sudden, boom. Let me uh, get this knot tied here. Can't bring him over. Wow, that's a really good one. I mean, you'll, you'll not, you won't beat the one you had, but boy. You know, see, like this size here is strong enough to like not get eaten by it, by the blue fish mostly. Or, Two on there again? One's a big one, huh? or they're both? Okay, so one just came off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's another one. Oh, no, he's on there, I guess. Yeah. I, I kind of disappeared out of sight for a second. Wow, that's a lot of weak fish. Oh, 
Wow. And even though it's windy, it's not like a big deal because we're, you know, we're just anchored right on top of these guys. turn around and look at it I expect to see it empty you know but it's not only about 15 feet thick now no oh boy what a great day to get Katie out there uh yeah I'm, and I spent a lot of time just you know retying rigs and stuff we lost a couple of bluefish actually hung one on the bottom you know a couple things went wrong there with rigs and uh you see me retying again but boy she was just uh, seemed to be into fish the whole time and you know what I went through the video and counted uh it was 46 week fish we caught. We were out for two and a half hours. Um, the previous week by myself, I, I had a trip with 55 week fish. I think this is a serious comeback. I think this is the real thing. Um, this is just great to see. All right, I hope you like this. And if you did, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell.